for Insider Medicine in 60, I'm Alison Chow from Queen's University. From Boston, according to research in the Journal of the American Medical Association, neither vitamin C nor E supplementation reduces the risk of prostate cancer. In a study of over 14,600 male physicians who were randomized to receive vitamin C or E supplements or placebo, researchers found that those taking supplements did not have a lower risk of prostate cancer or other site-specific cancers such as colorectal, lung, bladder, or pancreatic. From Geneva, According to another study in JAMA, the steroid medication dexamethasone, which is used to reduce nausea and vomiting after tonsillectomies, is linked with an increased risk for postoperative bleeding. In a study of 215 children undergoing tonsillectomy, researchers found that 24% of those who received 0.5 mg per kilogram of dexamethasone experienced postoperative bleeding, compared to only 4% of those who received placebo. And finally, from Houston. According to research in the journal Circulation, women who suffer from a serious heart attack are almost twice as likely to die than men. In a study of nearly 80,000 patients, researchers found that the in-hospital mortality rate for women who had suffered an ST elevation myocardial infarction was 10.2% compared to 5.5% for men. The researchers suggest that differences in patient characteristics and treatment are both likely contributing factors. For Insider Medicine in 60, I'm Alison Chow from Queen's University.